Hi everyone, this is Hello Angel or Design. Today I'm going to show you how I make this cute box plate with a zipper at the center back. This skirt that we make today is for four years old child, even five years can wear the skirt. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. Make a comment down below if you have any question. My tutorial is helpful. Thumbs up. Please watch the video on today so that you don't miss anything out. And let's get First thing that you have to do, you're going to measure your fabric and make sure that you have all the necessary tools to make this kit. I have my zipper, my African wax print my marker and my scissors. So this is what I'm going to use to make this skirt. So this is the front side of my fabric and my fabric is on fold. Because I don't have a long fabric, I have to join them together. If you don't have a long fabric, you can always join your fabric together to make a beautiful dress or a beautiful skirt. You have the same result so i will place my measuring tape like this from the fold hem side i'll place my measuring tape i'm going to take a measurement of 30 inch if you're using centimeter measure 76.2 centimeter place it like this again 30 inch or 76.2 centimeter so this is what i have right here and the length of my fabric, you place your measuring tape like this. The length of my fabric is 12 inch. If you're using centimeter, measure 30 and half centimeter. So this is how I measure my fabric. The next thing that you have to do, you open your fabric, you just open it like this. This is the front of my fabric. This is the back of my fabric. Then you place your measuring tape you're going to measure four centimeters. If you're using inches, measure one and a half inch. So four centimeter is right here. From that four centimeter, you place your measuring tape again. You're going to measure five centimeter or two inch. So you just go ahead and measure it all around two two inch or five centimeter. I have measured it around from the beginning is four centimeter. From there, you just go ahead and measure it around two, two inch or five centimeter. Once you have done that, you pick this mark and you join it on this other side. You go ahead, you secure that with a pin. From here, you join it to this side. You can see how I'm joining it. You join it like this, secure that with a pin. This mark right here, you join it on this side. Secure that with a pin. You just go ahead and do the same from here you join it secure that with a pin from here you join it again you can see the way i'm joining it so you just go ahead and repeat the same process all around the fabric I have pleated together, this is how it is. I have shown how you can pleat your skirt. You see how beautiful that is, even if you have an eye on the skirt. What you're going to do, take it to your sewing machine, go ahead and top stitch. I have top stitched my skirt together. This is how it is right now. 
you can see how that is. The next thing that you have to do, you're going to measure your waistband. So the length of my waistband is nine centimeters. If you're using inches, measure three and a half inches. So for the width of your waistband, all you have to do, just take the total measurement of your skirt. That will be the total measurement for your waistband. That will be the width of the waistband. So what you are going to do, this is the front of my fabric. This is the back of my fabric. I make sure that both front fabric are facing each other. I'm going to pin it all around. I have already fold inside one centimeter. This is my one centimeter. So I will place it at the waistband. I'm just going to pin it all the way down. I'm going to pin it all around the waistline of the skirt. I have pinned my waistband around the waistline of the skirt. I will take it to my sewing machine and top stitch with one centimeter seam allowance. Once I am done with that, for the center back, I will take it to my overlocker, I will overlock the raw edges, and I will also overlock the other side raw edges. I have top stitched the waistband. This is how it is right now. And I fold inside one centimeter. The next thing that you have to do, place your waistband like this. You're using to cover the raw edges of your skirt. You just go ahead and place it together and pin it all the way down. Once you have done pinning, take it to your sewing machine. Go ahead and top stitch the waistband to cover the raw edges of your skirt. I have top stitch my waistband together. This is how it is. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to stitch our zipper at the center back. Before you stitch your zipper at the center back, what you are going to do, you take your measuring tape, decide the length where you want your zipper to end. So you are going to measure from the waistband all the way where you want your zipper to end. From the waistband, I'm going to take a measurement of 6 inches. If you're using centimeter, you can measure 15 centimeter. So I will take my marker and I'm just going to mark the skirt. That is the center back of the skirt. You also come to this side, you repeat the same process. Place your measuring tape like this. Measure down 6 inches or 15 centimeter so you mark it like this so this is where i want my zipper to end so i have marked where my zipper is going to end the next thing that you have to do you open your zipper like this flip your zipper place it like this this raw edges of the zipper, I'm going to move it forward. You just place it like this. Go ahead and pin your zipper. At the, pin your zipper at the center back of the skirt. Once you have done pinning, take it to your sewing machine. Go ahead and stitch your zipper where you want your zipper to end. Once you have done that, you also repeat the same process on this other side. You turn your zipper like this, place it from the waistline. Go ahead and pin it all around. Once you have done pinning, I will just show you. You go ahead and pin it like this at the center back of the skirt. You will go ahead and stitch it all the way down. Once you have done stitching, then when you turn your zipper, it's going to be like this. 
you can see how it is this is how it's going to be I have stitched my zipper this is how it is so when you open it this is how it will look the next thing that you have to do the raw edges of your zipper fold it over and then turn it like this and secure that with a pin just like this once you have done that go ahead and stitch it all the way down repeat the same process on this side fold it over turn it like this secure that with a pin Go ahead and stitch it all the way down. Once you have done stitching, you zip your skirt. This is how it will look at the center back. So I will go ahead and turn my skirt inside out. So once you turn your skirt inside out, for the center back, you just go ahead and stitch it all the way down like this. You go ahead and give it a top stitch. Once I am done with that, I will take my skirt to my sewing machine fold inside one centimeter, fold it again one centimeter and top stitch. That means you're hemming your skirt. Once I am done stitching, I will show you how my finally look. This is the final look of my skirt. It's beautiful, easy to make step-by-step -step tutorial. Watch the video until the end so that you don't miss anything out. You all should have a wonderful day. Bye.